Almost three years after his Wii debut, Blob is back for a multi-platform trip through the color wheel that's just as exuberant as his initial outing. With not a whole lot of variety when it came to its gameplay, the original got by largely on its charms. Does the Blob 2 bring anything to the party beyond a new coat of paint? You are Blob, a freedom fighter in the color underground, engaged in a righteous struggle against the vile Inked Corporation, who's determined to keep Prisma City bereft of color. Spiffy CG cutscenes precede each level, telling DeBlob 2's anti-establishment story in a benign, kid-friendly way. Even the most hard-bitten curmudgeon would have a tough time not cheering along as the multi-hued heroes triumph over their monochromatic oppressors. <laughs> DeBlob 2's structure is pretty standard as far as platformers go. Your fellow revolutionaries present you with scads of objectives to tackle throughout the wide open levels, gradually enlivening and transforming them as you smear out Ink's homogenizing influence. You're free to color outside the lines, as it were, and ignore your objectives, but if the ticking timer elapses, it's game over and back to your last checkpoint. Though the timer disappears after you finish a level, allowing you to free paint and tackle secondary objectives to your heart's content, it's nonetheless hard to resist going off the reservation. The game just makes it too easy to get distracted. <laughs> The most challenging objectives have you painting the environment in specific complex patterns that are easy to foul up, requiring you to approach the jobs with strategy and forethought. For the most part though, the game is breezy and inviting. There are plenty of 2D mini stages peppered through each level, which thoughtfully make use of the paint mixing fundamentals to concoct what are essentially cool extended environment puzzles. You can work toward the liberation of Prisma City with a friend via the two-player mode, with your ally taking on the role of Pinky in a Super Mario Galaxy-style partner capacity, as well as engage in standalone split-screen co-op levels in the Blob Party mode. <laughs> the Blob 2 certainly enjoys more gameplay variety than its predecessor, but you won't really notice it until you're well into the game. With Blob not fully coming into his own in terms of abilities or environmental elements to interact with till around midway through, the first few hours feel somewhat like an extended tutorial. Likewise, the early levels are a bit sedate and repetitive, though things get considerably more creative once you crest the mid-game hump. <laughs> DeBlob 2 is a crash course in remedial color theory, and during much of the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay, you'll be striving to dye your bulbous body one specific pigment or another. Certain objectives are only met if you paint a part of the environment a specific color. Meanwhile, you can only harm some advanced enemies if you're colored a certain hue. Finding mixable sources of the right color paint is a frequent, hands-on challenge. Conversely, some of the Blob 2's simplest pleasures are delightfully hands-off. Exulting in Blob's destructive capabilities is as easy as finding a series of targets and hitting a button in sequence. It's the same with charging into destructible obstacles. All of the power-ups also work in tandem with Blob's basic capabilities to great effect. Form the Wrecking Ball, which enables extended wall crawls to the blank vacuuming Graviton Bomb, the power-ups always feel like they serve a legitimate purpose in the context you employ them. The Blob 2's vivid and joyous world makes its HD debut in style. The exuberant sense of character is carried over from the first, and the world is just as imaginative as ever. As before, the music samples you trigger as you paint vary depending on Blob's current color, with impressively coherent results. More than simply changing in hue, the environments undergo wholesale transformations as you play through each level, turning what was once staid and clinical to teeming Technicolor Wonderlands. Just like the first one, the Blob 2 is a joy to behold, only this time, it's in HD. The Blob 2 is one of those rare games ostensibly aimed at youngsters that is likely to sustain adult interest. Its core premise is simple and plays to our most base, completest urges, but it never feels cheap for doing so. It may start off slow, but once the experience picks up, it becomes a delightful trip indeed. <laughs> 